This one is Wednesday the 6th. I don't like this shit. I won't change out of it. Okay, Sam is lagging a little bit. But anyway, um, since this is a Harlan Ham Ham Radio channel, we said with the original intent, uh, I'm going to try and do uh, some Ham Radio related uh, stuff to put on the loop. Uh, uh, we're going to be putting in multi PSK and doing some decoding um, of uh, HF facts from, um, uh, I believe it's the Coast Guard. And we're going to be using. The uh, Kato KA1102 shortwave receiver here I bought on eBay about about uh, say four or five months ago, and I have the uh, file downloaded. I just not have installed it yet here using Google Chrome. That's just my personal favorite. Multi PSK zip from f6cte.freee.fr is where I downloaded it from. Comes in a zip file, so obviously you'll have to extract it to wherever you want to put the uh, program files. I put mine in in the uh, C multi, so that's just this is how I keep track of it. Using Windows XP, yeah, it's a little old, but uh, it still works for what this old uh, gateway uh, is meant for. Okay, also um, here it is for install. Here's for multi PSK, right there. You can do that right. But uh, there's all these files in here, even one called Clock. I'm not sure what that is. I haven't looked into it very much, so I'm just more interested in this PSK itself here. Let me tell you up the uh, screen looks like. You can go into configure with the uh, sound cards, outputs, auxiliary, stuff like that. So let's see what the RTX. Screen, receive screen. Okay, go over there. HF fax is right over here. I don't know if you saw that or not, but I get this. Yeah, I'm using this uh, Microsoft webcam, a light cam, VX5000 has a built-in microphone. And let's get this set up like this for normal. Standard 800. Now I just have to find the frequencies I want to use. It's a really good website from NOAA. It's up uh, National Weather Service. Oh, and all that stuff, very good stuff here. It has some updates here in red, but it does have their uh, little chart of where they're at, what frequencies, what time of day in UTC. So let's figure out what you say. O2. So let's start with one in Boston. Uh, in daytime we'll go with 12750. Okay, we're actually on 12789. You see the grid there. Do that. That's going to move the middle here. And it's going to get back to the jet. Picture here, you got to do some adjusting with the slant correction on the side here. But also, I've noticed that since I'm using an old CRT monitor, it's causing some interference because if I shut it off like this, a lot of that interference goes away. So, some CRT monitors it plays havoc with, and yes, and some it doesn't. So, if you can avoid using a CRT, push your radio like I have here. Do it. Otherwise, you're going to have a little bit of, well, a lot of interference. Turn it back on. You can see right here when I have the monitor on and getting that noise here with the monitor off, it's screwing up quite a bit. So. Anyway, HF back, 
using multi PSA, it's free on the internet. And uh, the NOAA website is um, nwsnoaa.gov OM Marine Radio Fact HTM. So, update after some adjustments over there. And it's becoming in quite a bit better. And the uh, microphone is right on top of the speaker, but the volume is only about 30 percent. So yeah, it does work. You just have to tinker with it a little bit, adjust some settings, and see what works best for you.